Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video, where are my hair clips? Today's video is my birthday, get ready with me. I'm actually only getting ready to, um, to film my, my birthday, uh, haul, which I do every year. I've done every year since I've been on YouTube. One of my favorite videos to do, honestly. Um, I'm going to start off by taking this Wet n Wild Rose Primer Serum and also this Tarte Clear like Lip Balm to prep my face and prep my lips. Um, bum, bum, bum. But as I was saying, this is one of my favorite videos every single year. I might have to like, not this video, but the the haul video, my birthday haul, is one of my favorite videos every year. Um, I might have to stop filming, like take a break from filming though, because right now the baby is asleep. Um, but I'm sure she's gonna wake up during the duration of me filming this and need to be fed. So, uh, there might be some, like, big ol' jump cuts and stuff. There also might be a lot of montages, because, like, I'm also vlogging today. And I feel like everything I've wanted to talk about, I've already talked about in, um, my vlog, which will be up, I don't know, probably Sunday or Monday. Um, and you guys are watching this on Friday, so definitely, well, if you're watching it the day it goes up, you're watching it on Friday. But, um, definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, I forgot a beauty blender, so I'm gonna need to grab one of those. This Tarte, like, um, lip balm, I got it at, like, a Sephora Favorites, I think, and it is so, so good. It just makes your lips feel so creamy mine's kind of broken though because my daughter got into it story of my life now i'm going to use the urban decay stay naked foundation which is my favorite foundation at the moment it's like a nice medium coverage foundation if you hear my kids in the background they are playing and hopefully not fighting because if you guys have kids sometimes it seems like that's all they ever do is just fight with each other wow my face looks so red in the camera um, and I might need to shut my windows a bit, because, uh, actually, maybe I should do that. I like to put on, like, chapstick and stuff, chapstick or lip balm or something, before I start my makeup, so that way, like, my lips are nice and hydrated before I put on, um, lipstick. But then it makes it hard to put, like, a foundation and concealer around my lips, because I don't want it to, like, blend in with the lip gloss and then I end up with lip gloss all over my face and wow this looks really whitewashed I'm trying to film a video wearing my shirt so what's yours is mine babe take it off now dude I'm filming a video you want me to take it off on camera sure I mean it'll get me a lot of views and then I'm going to take the, actually, I think I'm going to use two concealers today. Okay, so these two concealers are like literally so similar, but the colors are different. So I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape just for under my eyes. So it's like a little bit, I don't know, a little bit yellow, and so it helps to cover those dark circles. And then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible, which I really want to try the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Um, and I'm going to use, this is like lighter, so I'm going to use this to kind of, um, brighten up my face, make it look all, I don't know, like snatched and contoured and whatever light, lighter concealers do and the big beauty gurus use them. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to shut my windows because... It's looking crazy on camera. See, that's like better. Well, I hope it's better. It looks better in the viewfinder. I hope it looks better when I actually go to edit. Lighting is like so tricky. Like if you want to be, if you want to do YouTube, lighting is like truly the trickiest part about filming YouTube videos. Because if the lighting's not right, it can throw your whole video off. And my lighting never seems to be where I want it to. Like, if I'm working really hard on a video, the lighting is always awful. But then, like, if it's a video I just throw together and I'm just like, yeah, no one's going to see this one. 
it's mostly for fun, just for me. Um, the lighting is always fantastic. I'm gonna spray some setting spray now. And just kind of pat that in before I go in with the powder. I don't know really if it like does anything when you use setting spray for every step, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something when I use setting spray for every step. So oh, that's pretty much why I do it. And also, I'm not sure if like setting spray actually helps to make my makeup stay longer, but it definitely, I feel like, well, depending on the setting spray, I feel like it definitely helps like with my dry skin. Um, like, it just helps the makeup kind of like melt so it doesn't look so like powdery and like it's sitting on top of my face. But I don't know if it actually is helping it stay longer. And then I'm going to use Beauty Bakery Powder and I'm going to use this Laura Mercier brush. I used to hate this brush but lately I've been using it and I'm obsessed with it. I got it for free from Influencer a long time ago. You know what? I totally forgot I brought in my Coconut Berry Red Bull. Which, um, if you saw that vlog, I already talked about this today in my birthday vlog. But in another vlog, um, I tried it because, like, it created some drama on Reality House. Which is, like, it's a YouTube show. Look it up if you haven't heard of it. Um, but ever since I tried it in that vlog, I've been obsessed with it. And every time I get a Red Bull, because there's so many Red Bull flavors now... And every time I get one, I'm like, should I try, like, one of these other flavors? Like, there's a Red Bull Red and a Red Bull Blue. And there's, like, a peach one. And I'm like, should I try these other flavors? Or should I just get this one? And I always just end up going and getting the Coconut Berry. Because it's so good. I But I still kind of want to try the other ones. Um, and I probably shouldn't be drinking one right now, honestly. Because all I've had today is coffee. Um, because I got my free birthday drink this morning from Starbucks, and so I'm, like, basically going to be running on a venti macchiato, um, and a Red Bull, which is probably going to make me feel sick, because whenever I have, like, too much caffeine on an empty stomach, I always just end up feeling so sick. And I'm also going to take some, like, Instagram photos when I get ready. That's pretty much why I'm getting ready is just for, um, now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution bronzer and the, uh, Mega Bronzer and Cool 01. I forgot to grab lashes. I was, like, getting all my makeup together, um, all the makeup that I want to use for today, and I kept reminding myself, like, grab lashes, grab lashes, and I grabbed a lash glue to bring in here, but I forgot to grab lashes. I'm gonna do a makeup no buy. Um, with the exception of I do have an Ulta gift card. I haven't decided completely yet if I want to use it on the Jaclyn Hill new palette or if I'm gonna like save it. Um, but other than like that Ulta gift card and then I'm getting March's Ipsy because March, um, I mentioned this in my Ipsy unbagging, but there's an extra product um, in March's Ipsy bag because it's their 100th Ipsy bag. So I'm going to get the March Ipsy. Um, I actually just chose my like, because you can choose one of your products now. I just chose my product. It was a Tatcha product, so it's probably teeny, teeny, tiny, but I'm excited to get that. Um, so I'm going to do March Ipsy, use my Ulta gift card. Honestly, I'll probably end up using it on the Jaclyn palette, the volume two. But then after that, I'm going to do a no buy. Just because I have so, so, so much makeup. Um, this looks like so unblended on camera. I'm going to go on with this. I like, honestly, I don't contour my forehead that often. <laughs> Because, like, I already have a pretty small forehead, and then my contour it, it just makes me look like I have a child-sized forehead. I'm 
now let's do blush i've been loving putting blush on the tip of my nose lately i saw dana banana do it and she just looks so cute when she does it it just makes her makeup look so gorgeous um and so i've started doing that when i do my makeup i mean i've done it like here and there every once in a while for the past like year or so but now i go a lot heavier with the blush when i do it and um I do it every time like it's a it's like a staple in my makeup routine now I also want to recurl my hair should I do that for this video I don't know but um, I'm on like day four hair right now it's already curled from like curling it this weekend um, but I think I'm just gonna like recurl it, touch it up a bit. Oh, and that was Dandelion Blush from Benefit. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then I'm going to use Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder. This is the best highlight, like truly the best highlight. And this is my favorite way to use it, is to take a little bit of setting pow a little bit of setting spray. So I'm gonna use Morphe setting spray. On my brush and dip it in the powder and then put it on my face and look at that so so gorgeous I actually got this in I think an ipsy bag it had to have been an ipsy bag um, a long time ago and when I got it I had no idea about artist couture and I think even when I got it they might have been a smaller brand still um, but now I'm just like, I'm obsessed with them and they're like huge. And they might've been huge when I got it in my Ipsy bag, but I, like I said, I hadn't heard of them yet. And I'm going to spray my face again. So I just want all those powder products to like melt in because like I said, I get really dry skin. And setting spray just helps with the dryness. Now, eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I just painted my nails right now, or not right now, but last night. And I brought my nail polish in here to show you guys the color. But this is Essie Truth or Bear. It looks like that. It's like a brown color. My kids are making noise in the background. Isn't that just like such a pretty like light brown. I got it this past fall um, and I used it like quite a bit like in, I don't know, end of August, beginning of September? Is that when I got it? I don't remember, but I used it quite a bit and then I like kind of forgot I had it um, during the winter months and now I'm like back at it. This is like a weird time of year, like after Valentine's Day. Where I'm like, I'm not quite ready for spring yet, but it also, like, doesn't really feel like winter anymore. Especially with, like, St. Patty's Day coming up in, like, less than a month now. It just, it doesn't feel like winter anymore. It feels like, you know, spring is coming. But I'm just not ready for the spring colors. I see a lot of videos like already decorating for spring and stuff. And I'm just not ready for it. Alright, and now I'm going to use Anastasia Brow Pomade. And I'm just going to draw in some like little lines um, where my brow hairs are like kind of sparse. This is like my favorite way to do my brows. But like I don't do them like this every day just because it's an extra step. Most days I just like quickly fill them in and let them be, but on days like this where, you know, I want to look like extra nice, maybe I should have zoomed in for this video. Here. We'll zoom in for the rest of it. How's that? <laughs> like on days like this where I want to look extra nice, you know, I throw in the, the extra steps, do all the extra things. I would love to get my eyebrows microbladed one day, but like I need to find 
the right person because I see so I'm like I'm so particular about how I want them done because I don't want them to look like too uniform you know honestly if I got them microbladed I really only want it done like a tiny bit in the middle and then I'd be totally fine um but I just don't want them to look like too uniform is that weird I just want it like enough that um I don't know, I don't have like little bald spots in the middle like I do currently. Gosh, I hope you guys can't hear my kids in the background too much. Okay, now eyeshadow. I got out these two, which are the Armed and Gorgeous. This one, and the Ring the Alarm. This one, and then I also got out my normal Jaclyn. Old school Jaclyn Hill. Um, so I want to do an orange look. Let's see. Honestly, I could probably do the whole look with just my ring the alarm. I think I'm just going to use this. I want it to be like a kind of orange and warm toned. And then I want to do like um, a little bit of a cut crease. And I don't have like any clean brushes. So this brush is still orange from the last time I did an orange look. But I'm going to take Rush right here. I just kind of start off with that. Oh man, I should have used like a better transition shade or something. I'm just gonna blend that a little better. Then I'm gonna take Alert, which is like this burnt orange shade. Oh, I also wanted to change out my nose ring for like a um a rose gold one. Right now I have the black one in, and I like the black one because I feel like it stands out a lot. But um, I'm gonna wear like this kind of goldish, like pinkish dress for pictures. And uh, I just think uh, a rose gold nose ring will match better. Okay, I wanna do a cut crease, so I really need to take this pigment like a little higher. So that way the cut crease is like more like defined and obvious. And I'm gonna take, let's see, actually I'll take mugshot first the outer corner to deepen it and then I'm gonna go in with secret after that oh mugshot is gorgeous I really think that this palette this is the ring the alarm I never know which palette is which I really think this of all of the Jaclyn Hill vault palettes is the best one like if you want one vault palette this is the one I recommend the most um, and this is definitely the one I get the most use out of just because it has like, it has the oranges and it has the burgundies, which if I'm using any color, it's usually orange, burgundy, or pink. Um, which is kind of why I want the volume to, like I said, have not purchased it yet. I feel like on camera that looks like a lot, um, it looks like not blended as well, but in real life, it looks really good. I'm really proud of myself. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the under eye. Let's see. So again, I'm going to start off with Rush, which is like the lighter of the two oranges. Man, you can tell I put on a lot of concealer because it's like it's getting in those fine lines on my under eye. I'm like 26, but I'm already seeing those like signs of aging. Um, and then I'm going to just go in with a secret on the outer corner. Kind of blend it up into the lid. There we go. And then, let's see. I'm just going to find a clean brush because I did not clean my brushes. I'm just going to take this and just blend it. That's a little blended better. And then I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution Eye Glisten and I'm going to take this shimmery side and do that and then top it with the glittery side. I'm going to do it like a cut crease or at least attempt to. I might need to get a concealer brush to get this like. I'm going to put it here. Look up. Oh, that did not work. Okay. 
I was just gonna do this like here. Okay, not perfect, but good enough. And then I'm going to take my finger here on the edge and just kind of blend it to like thin it out. And then I'm going to go with like the orange eyeshadow over to blend it better. Okay. Then back in with Alert, which is the darker burnt orange. Just gonna blend it. Not a ton, but a little bit. That's not perfectly even, but you know, we're gonna work with it. I'm going to take the little brush that I used under my eye and also just kind of line where I did the cut crease just to make it pop up a bit more. And then, now we're going to go in with the glittery side because that was just the shimmer side. Now we're going to put some glitter. You guys can see what I'm doing because um, I'm looking at the mirror over here because it's just better than the viewfinder. Pretty okay, so now. I'm gonna give that a second to dry, and then I'm gonna use this new eyeliner that I got on Ipsy. It's the Scone Tattooed Mini. Here's what it looks like. Let's see, and this is where I'm go I usually mess up. So you guys might not be able to see me do this. I wonder if I could just get, move the camera. That might be smart. Oh wow! Look at that. Okay, this sucks. This is going straight in the trash. I'm gonna go get a different one. Okay, I just grabbed one of these Eye Method Beauty ones, which are actually stamps, but they have like an eyeliner side. That scone one, I'm like literally swiping. I don't know if you can see. I'm literally swiping it across, and it's like nothing is coming out of it. And that's the first time I opened it. So that sucks. That's going in the trash. Okay. Not perfectly even, but even enough. Let's come back up here. Not bad. I didn't even use the stamps. Okay, so now mascara. Um, I'm just going to use this voluminous L'Oreal. Um, and then I'll... Go find some fake lashes and I think I'm just gonna do my hair off I think I'm just gonna do my hair after I film this because um I don't really have anywhere to plug my curling iron in in here and I used to have like where it's close to me I used to have a um extension cord that I would use for when I would like 
curl my hair and please isn't worth the bathroom but I don't know what happened to it we used it during Christmas time for the tree and now it's gone and I know it's not with the Christmas decorations because um when we were putting the Christmas decorations away I made a point to leave it out to make sure we did not put it away with the Christmas decorations and now it's disappeared this mascara is so good, I could literally just go out like this and not need fake lashes, but, you know, I want to be a little glamorous today. Alright, okay, I don't know why the lighting just changed, because, like, it was, like, more warm and now it's more cool. Like, I just, I don't understand lighting, you guys. Like I said, that's, like, my biggest fault with doing YouTube. Okay, gonna grab lashes. Okay, so my camera was overheating, so I um, lost my train of thought. I went and spruced up my curls, changed my nose ring, put in some earrings, and also put in this clip, um, because it kind of matches what I'm wearing. Okay, now fake eyelashes, which I don't know what these are. I just found them on like my trinket tray. Um, I'm gonna guess they're they're probably Ardell Natural Wispy or like the Kiss, the Kiss ones that look a lot like Ardell Natural Wispy that I don't know the name of. I have like a ton of false eyelashes because I just, I keep getting them on sale and then like I hardly ever wear false eyelashes. And it's one of those things where like once you get used to wearing, once you get used to not wearing false eyelashes, like you don't feel like you need them anymore and that's how I've been lately is like I, I went through a phase where like every time I had to do my makeup I'd wear false eyelashes and then if I didn't wear false eyelashes I felt like my makeup was incomplete and I finally got to a place where I can do like a full bold eyeshadow look you know like the one I'm wearing today not wear false eyelashes and I still feel like it's it looks good it looks complete they're not needed and like it kind of takes a while to like get used to the way your face looks without them i also just think they're like i don't know for me personally like every day they're a bit they're a bit much they do look great in photos though they, they look awesome in photos but every day they're just they're a bit much Even if I do like a natural look, they're just a bit much. Okay. Now I'm going to line my lips with this True Lips in 046. Um, you can get these on Amazon or eBay in like big packages. And I'm just going to slightly, slightly overline my lips. And then... I'm going to take Too Faced Child Star, which is my all-time favorite nude lip. And then lastly, I'm going to take Fenty Beauty and a Fenty Glow and put that on top. And this is my all-time favorite lip gloss. And it's like, this gloss with this lipstick, my favorite, my favorite combo. Oh, that smells so good. It just smells like candy. And there we go. And now I think, should I do more highlight? No, probably not. Highlight's good. So there is my hair and makeup for my birthday. I'm going to put on a dress and take some photos. Um and film my what I got for my birthday and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me I remember a couple years ago if you're like a new newer subscriber you might not but a couple years ago I did a like subscription box birthday week and for every day of the week of my birthday I opened another subscription box and I'm kind of wishing I did that again this year I thought about it but then I was like oh I don't know I think I'd rather just spend the money on like buying stuff I actually want instead of getting like a surprise but now that it's actually my birthday week I'm like I kind of want to upload every day because 
I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. It's like Vlogmas. Um, where you, like, get interaction. I get to interact with you guys every day, and it's just fun. So, but too late for that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye out for my birthday vlog going up in a couple of days, and also my what I got for my birthday. I know I've talked about both those videos a lot, but, um, I've been planning them both for a while. So, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like I'm rambling. See you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.